folks, it's David, and David's very excited today. You can see the spread of ingredients. We are making eclairs, beautiful eclairs filled with a orange-flavored creme pat. We're going to top that with pistachios. Look at these. I've blanched them. Look how green they are. White chocolate, and also a little bit of a surprise with some honeycomb, like a crunchy. We're going to start off with a shoe paste. Make sure your oven is on. We go into the pot with our water and our milk. I have discovered <laughs> that a combination of water and milk is great. The milk gives great flavor. There's a lovely sweetness to the milk, obviously, but you need the water for the crisp because if you only use milk, it gets a little bit uh, almost soggy in a way. The next thing that we put into that mixture is our butter. All right. And we get that straight onto the heat. A little pinch of salt also. When you're heating this mixture up, don't let it heat up too quickly because if it starts boiling without the butter being melted, the evaporation will mess with the quantity of liquid that you have. Then you're not going to get the nice fine finish on the shoe pastry. In with the flour, cake flour, yeah? And we just mix that through. Okay, it'll come together as a dough. It basically forms this dough, this paste. And then you have to cook it. You have to keep working it in order to cook the flour out, essentially. But you have to keep working it. And then eventually what happens, it forms this beautiful little layer on the bottom. Just a, a flour layer. It's not burnt. It's my, my little workout this morning. There you see how beautifully that comes together? Right. Now. Dave, what are you doing? <laughs> All right, so basically what we do is we cool the shoe paste down. You can imagine, if you now take this shoe paste and you start throwing egg into it, the egg's just going to cook. As soon as you can touch this dough without burning, all right, then it's ready to go into the machine. So what you'll notice in the bowl now, it's, 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 it's almost crumbly. The, the dough sort of breaks off in pieces. Please, only add one egg at a time. As you add one egg, you'll see it'll loosen up. Okay, it'll get a little bit silky, and then it'll come back together again. And you keep doing this. All right, until you get to a dropping consistency. I'm going to show you what a dropping consistency is. Don't just throw all the egg in because the recipe says so. Okay, I want to show you something quickly. We talk about a dropping consistency. And you can see how it's just falling off the paddle. Now, what we want to do is you want to put that onto a spoon. Is it dropping too slow or is it dropping too quick? <laughs> Dave thinks it's perfect. Now, the piping bag. This is the best way to fill these things. Fold it over and tuck your hand in underneath. It's almost like a little puppet master. Pop your thumb in underneath and then just over there inside and then use your fingers and your thumb just to pull it all off. See there? Hey, Dave, there we go. I'm not going to put too much in the bag. Now, if you're not sure about getting them even, you can actually draw with a little pencil um, on your baking paper. I'm chuffed with it. I haven't done this for years. perfect result would be a lovely airy crisp shell that is hollow on the inside. So shoe paste is essentially just a carrier for all the buckets of flavor that we're going to add to it. Creme pat is here. How do you flavor creme pat? How do you flavor it? When you've got your milk in your pan, that's when you add the flavorings. We are going to add a touch of vanilla because creme pat, like a custard, is not the same without a bit of vanilla essence in there. And then an orange. I'm just going to zest about a half an orange into this. Zest is amazing here. Now, what is very, very important here is these flavors need to infuse. So do not boil the milk. It just needs to come up to temperature. And then leave it for about 20 minutes, just so those flavors infuse nicely. So sugar, flour, and we add our yolks. And basically what we do here is we just form a little bit of a, a paste of sugar, egg yolks, and flour. Once this mixture is ready, what you need to do is you take half of this mixture and very slowly add it bit by bit to this mixture. Do not throw this into that. It's basically tempering it. You want to get all the lumps out of it. Right, now that we've got it to this stage, about half the milk is in here, nice and smooth. This mixture then goes back into our pot. Oh yes, you can just see now it's starting to thicken up beautifully. Mm. Right. Now what's important here is you don't want this to form a little film. I want to quickly show you a handy little tip. This is what they call in French a cartouche. It's a paper lid. 
Right, so fold the paper onto in half like that. Okay, then you fold the paper in half again. Now to the closed corner, okay, the solid there, the solid here, to the closed corner, you then fold it in little cross and back over there and then back again and back again and then to the center of your dish so half of that you just cut it off hey look at that it's called a cartouche What a cartouche does, it allows for air to escape to cool down, but it doesn't allow for that film to form on the top end. Beautiful. And there we go. There's our creme pad. Simple as that, eh? <laughs> Let's take these beauties out. Okay. Uh -huh. We're just going to cut these open. Uh -huh. How beautiful those are. Look at that. Little boats of love, eh? It's going to chop a few of these pistachios. Look at the vibrance, eh? How vibrant those are. A honeycomb, what are we doing with the honeycomb? So, I'm going to put a couple of these on there. Just that honeycomb flavor will come through quite nicely. In fact, you don't even have to put the lids on. If you want to stop at this sort of stage, where you've got these lovely honeycomb, these honeycomb boats with some pistachios sprinkled on them, you can do that as well. And we just pour a generous chocolate. While the chocolate is still soft, just sprinkle on your little pistachios. En voilà, eclairs. So all that is left to do is to taste, <laughs> which is always the most important part. Mm, gorgeous flavors. Enjoy these delectable bites. I've had a hell of a lot of fun making them, and I hope you do too.